Ugh, fuck. Okay. COD 4. The old game COD 4. No remasters. No, I don't know. You can find it on Steam, but you have to pay for it. You can't find it anywhere else, but I think it's on Steam. But there is a small... Not a small one. There is another way to get COD 4 without buying it through Steam, which I think is 20 something dollars. The way to do that is to like go on YouTube, like how to install COD 4. These, this video. Oh, files. Here yeah, he has files. What is that? Like, how do you. What? Bam. Discord. Uh, the, go to Discord. You can do that. You'll just figure it out later. No, doesn't happen there. This one, this is a old video. The, how does he do it? Uh, <laughs> I should do this one. I'm taking notes how to use Notepad. Don't do that. That's an old video. This one, uh, let's just go. Most of these are just literally just gameplay. This is a, uh, excuse me, video of the patch. You won't, he will, look, what he does is, oh, blah, blah. he's like, oh, okay. Description, the media oh. file, bam, uh, not it, I'm gonna see that. Uh, Google Drive, what? Uh, not, no, it's just the patch that isn't the client. Let me get rid of something real quick. So, I'm like, oh, what about COD 4X? Most of this is just the same thing, this is this, which is the bug fix, but that isn't, that isn't it. Like, what? And then you're like typing in and you see pro mod. I was like, wait, what's that? How does it talk for pro mod? And then you get this video. This. One of these videos was actually one way I found out through the website of this website. Not the shop. This website. No, that's not. It was like, oh, what's this? And like, it'll take you to this. Not secure. No, no, no. Mm -mm. That isn't it. Bad website. No. Uh. What's this? Oh, I think that's just shop. It's one of these videos that had the website, and I was like, "Oh, okay. wait, no, it was this one. It was this one, not that one. It was this one. This one had the website. Bam! Look, website, and then you go to this. This is a cool channel. He has the tournaments and stuff, public servers. He's like, "Oh, what's that?" And then it'll take you to this if it loads. <sighs> there. But take you to this website. cod 4 promoeu slash how to install COD4. Bam, 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 bam. Because if you go to, like, the website and then you just delete this, it'll just take you to a different part of this website and you'll just tick this and it just goes back to this. So, like, oh, instructions. Setup.exe. Tips avoid program files. Don't download it in C file. Unless you don't have any other else to put it, then you can just just make a file and C file and just put it in there. And you're looking at this like what patch 1.6, 1.7, then the COD X4 patch, and like what what's this? Easy way to understand this simple by simple. So you would have to do it. No, that's not the right one. So you click the media fire link. If it works, I didn't click on it. And you're like, oh, what's this? And he's like, COD 4 MW. I was like, huh? You click it and you see it's an ISO file. Right here. This is it pops up an ISO file. Then after that, you go back to the website. You go to your downloads file. Or I just have it in COD 4 because I already downloaded it. It would pop up as this. And then you click on it and you prompt to start running. You click more information and you click it. And then you pop up with this and then you pop up with a DVD drive. This is just the file of where it is. Ow. And then you go and it's like, whoa. Look, setup. There it is. I'm pointing out setup. Bam. There's the setup file. And then you click on it. It runs up. See a video I can find in it. Venmo, really. 
So you're like, okay. And then you get to a point where it says enter key codes. And you're like, what, what do I do? So you like, you scramble to look through the files. It's not in any of the files whatsoever. Not in any of this. No, what's, uh, you, nope, you, nope, you, nope, uh, what are we, what, what, what do I, what do I do, huh, data, no, files, no, mods, oh, is it, no, not in there, zone, English, no, not in there, uh, oh, oh I'll go back, RS, no, not in there, don't have the key because you can either use your Steam key because if you bought the game, or you can use another key through a website, which I'll show later on. So I'm like, so you're stuck. What do you do? You go back to the website. You like scramble to go online. That'll be second part. So you see this. You see a Discord tag name. You do that. You ask him for help. And he shows you the website, and then but then he shows you a video, which is this. This is a video of this person going through each and one of these steps on how to install. So you enter your CD key. What do you do there? Well, I found a cool, legit website. It is called Google Groups. And through this one, you are in a group, or not in a group, you're just, you found a group that just had all these keys. And like, you go to the top and it's like 2009. And then you go back to the bottom and it's 2023. That's the near, that's the latest one. You use this key, it works. Ugh, I'm reading it. So bam, you have it done. I mean, I can show you an example of what it looked, well, not really. Then I have to do it all over again. But yeah, it'll show you, it will prompt up with a five password key that you have to put in. So what you would do is enter these five keys with the four letter, it's like four letter keys, passwords. So it's like, bam. Bam, bam, bam. One, two, three, four, and five. So it'd be separate. I'm just learning separate. And then it'll pop up with the text like enter key code. And like, what do you do? You go to the website, you take this key that actually works, and you put it in. You go back to this video. You can follow this video. This is like way more into like what you actually have to do. So you enter the key, do all the exceptions, and you get to this part. Oh, so what he does is he just leaves it on typical, which is just installs the programs. You can do custom, which you can select what you want. I just left that typical. And he does the download. Pops up with that. And then you get the, the shortcuts thing, and then you get to this. Click no. This is just something you might get in trouble with. I don't know what this technically would do if you click yes. But I think this is, these prize things are just done. Don't click on that. Click no. Uh, 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 ah. Uh. And then he just goes through the entire thing and like, bam, he's done. He's finished. He goes back to his folders. So then what he does next is goes back to here. You can go back here. He doesn't do that. He goes to the patches you have to do this on order you do 1.6 first and then you do 1.7 because it says on the website specific order you download it the other down as you move it that's just a video i have for later ah download games cut i have it in cut for because look you have it as zip files you unzip it you extract it here oh nope you go to this and you start it and it's just kind of the setting it up and you do the same thing 1.6 you set it up i'm not doing it because i already did it but you can go to the video he does it and then afterwards after doing that you go to he gets to a point where it says you need to download the punk buster files which i can find here 
Punk Buster Files. This is the latest downloads. So I was kind of stuck on this. I was like, what, what do I do here? And most people would get like pissed and stuff. So I found this website. And it's like, you, you find it and it's bam. There is websites where you like, uh, uh, four, oh, that's three. Key, oh, shit. Key codes. And you go to the group right there and then you get to this website or just like the hacking cheats. This is just a stupid website. Nothing happens. What about this one? The generator. It's a lie. It's a fat lie. The cake. Cake's a lie. And I think there was one website that I did click on where just it takes you to a different thing and it's just it's not the thing it is. So like what? And then you do like punk buster files. And you're like, what what is that? And I'm gonna do that and then make another one. Punkbuster download. And you go to this to even balance. And you're like, what what is this? I never did this one because I was like, this is kind of weird because this isn't the right one. It's like online something. And it's like, oh no, it's not the right one. It's this. Don't do this one either, because that's just not the right one. And you're like scrambling, and then there's this one. And like this one's not it either because it says Call of Duty and I'm like what 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 do I do? And then you find this one, the COD four how to set up. And you're like, what? And then you and then you get to this. And then bam, that's the actual downloads. So I'm like, okay, cool. It's a zip file. It pops up as this. Bam. Uh so what do you do with the punk or punk? Eh, I hate English. So what do you do with the files? So what do you do is, oh, oops. He goes into, he gets the file, he goes into it, and he goes to open file location. So what he's talking about is going to this, extracting the thing, going to that, getting to this, but he doesn't do anything after that. And he goes to open file location, and then he sees this. What he does is when he opens the file location, he gets the, the PB that's in the file location of the COD4, and then he puts the new one that you downloaded in there, or that he downloads. So you can just, that's what I did. I just download the one I have and just puts the new one in there. This video has the, has like five links, but they're not, it's not all of them true. Oh, I just realized these are the files. Oh, wait, don't do that website. Cause I think that one's not true. You know what? I'm not going to include this one. That's not the right one. I lied about that earlier. I did a foreshadowing. So this Venmo has the punk buster file. So I just use that. Bam, he puts it in and then he starts it up. Which I think that's what he does. Oh no, he goes to the codex. Yeah, no, he doesn't start it up. He goes to the codex file. So you go back to the, this downloads. He downloads that and it goes to zip. That's not that wrong. Like, oh, what, I, what what's this? Client. That's not the actual client. Bam. And what he does is just puts it in there. And then he goes to the MP, the IW3 MP, and then starts it up. After he starts it up, he goes into the game. He gets a prompt, he gets like the prompt of like, oh, you got an update and he does it. And then what happened to me first was the game booted up and then 
it prompted me with the update. So I clicked yes or clicked okay. And then took me out and then I booted up again. And then like game started. And I'm like, what what happened? What, like it confused me at first. Don't go to the don't go to the websites for the punk buster. It just I don't know, I never used it because all I did was just use this because this has the thing in it. Oh. So what popped up for him first was this. Oh, where is it? Here it is. That was, that is, this is what popped up for him first. Got updated. Please start COD 4 again. This happened to me after I realized the... Uh, after I got off the game, you get stuck with a resolution which is really stretched or really up close. Turn it back, and his game has the thing with the auto updates up, and then bam, you're done. That's basically all of COD 4. It is a tedious task to get the keys and then the punk buster files because, like, you'll ask him, you ask the dude for like how to do this, and you're like, he'll just show you, he'll just show you two things. And it's like, okay, thank you, and like, wow, I did it. Oh my god, so many channels. <laughs> bam, bam. I thought this was the right one, but then I realized probably not. You could use this one, but I, don't, I just rather not. Because the Venmo one has the right one. And this has the keys. And then bam, you get to the website. So this is mostly how you do it. I don't know why it's Rainbow Succeed in there. Goodbye, get out of here.